Hey, this is Troy Taylor with the Championship Football Coaches Clinic podcast, sponsored by Rack Coach and Sports Workbook. We have Jason on today with the Coach Pad. Jason, how are you doing today? And can you tell the clinic a little bit about yourself before we get into uh, the Coach Pad? Yeah, thanks for having me on, Coach. Uh, I'm Jason, and I uh, I work for Sideline Power. And I got involved with Sideline Power after being a uh, math teacher and high school coach for uh, 17 years. What state? And uh, What's that? What state? Uh, in Kansas. Okay, right on. Um, did a couple short uh, stints at some high schools, but then the, most of my time has been at Manhattan High and uh, was a uh, position coach, linebackers. Uh, I played linebacker in college at K Kansas State university for uh coach snyder back in the day and and uh played a little pro ball after that and then they got done and uh got into education and uh teaching math and uh did that for uh, like i said 17 years and uh and then uh coaching at the high school level mainly assistant but then i did a couple years as a dc and then uh in doing all that i was working on the coach pad in the back, you know, in the background. So um, started off just as a partner with Sideline Power and then uh, became a full-time position. So I went from the being the tech guy at the high school to this is what I do. I, I try to hook up coaches all, uh, all year long now. Wow. So uh, did you invent the coach pad? Yeah, I say I developed it. Yeah, I developed the coach pad. I work with a company in China that, you know, makes the coach pad. I don't make them. Um, well, I, I, I mean, but you, and, you got the patent and, and everything. Uh, but you own the patent. Well, yeah, it's one of those things. It can't be. It can't be patented. It's one of those things that you know. Yeah, not, my patent not attorney's like, oh, I can't patent it, actually. Yeah. And, well, so uh, tell me how it all so, happened, man. How did this all come about? Yeah, it actually started back in uh, before I became in education. I was. Uh, I got done with pro ball, and I was like, hey, I think I might want to coach college ball. You know, be a college coach. And I told my wife, you know, I got married and I told my wife, I said, if I don't try this, you know, I'm always going to like wonder, you know, and, you know, I, I try to live with no regrets. And so I uh, got into college coaching and I was the uh, GA for uh, Travis Graver down at Bethel College in North Newton, Kansas. And it really started then. That was in 2006. So that's kind of where this all started, my, my vision for it. And the reason why is because I was drawing and stuffing, you know, uh, binders with scout cards. And so I'd go to the printer every, every, you know, every week I'd go to the printer. I need a hundred copies of a piece of paper with a template on it. And then I would just draw and draw and draw and stuff binder after binder and take, you know, three, four binders out to practice. And, you know, I looked around and that's when video editing systems started going, you know, being like DSV, uh, you know, obviously huddle was in the mix, some other ones, um, we're out there, web electronics. And, you know, we were always trying to, what, be more efficient with our data entry and our film editing and exchanging and all that. And I was looking at my, I was like, why am I still you know, using paper and uh, a permanent marker and, and doing scout cards like this? There's got to be a, a more uh, efficient way of doing this, you know? And so uh, really since 2006, I've been working on it and uh, trying to get somebody to go in with me on it. And I, Finally got this company in China that I finally was able to get on board. And and uh, so we started working on it. And a couple years, um, 2018, we really kind of started putting a product together and uh, and doing some test runs. And then uh, we released it in January 2020 at the AFCA. So a great year to release something, you know, <laughs> in 2020 there. And, uh, and uh, started getting it out there. Um, you know, a lot of people, I mean, they understand how scout card, a lot of defensive guys. I like to try to hook up my defensive guys, you know, because we draw more scout cards than the offense. And uh, so in doing that, just got them out there and coach has been loving it. Coach has been uh, number one way coaches uh, use the coach pad. They put huddle practice scripts. You know, I have a larger high school market and then in small college and, and then big college from there. Um, but most guys are putting huddle practice scripts on it. Then a lot of guys do hand drawings. You know, they draw their scout cards by hand still using the templates. And then probably Playmaker Pro, actually. A lot of guys still have that old Playmaker Pro license on their computer. 
and then uh, Pro Quick Draw, Just Play, some of those things. And, so you uh, have one there with you right now. Um, can you show us, like, how would we use it? How can it help a high school coach? Yeah, so here's the coach pad. And, and the, the, the issue that I was having was something electronic that could be seen outside in the sun, mm -hmm. okay? And the size of a piece of paper. Because you can buy, like, you can get, like, little devices. And, but I needed to say, I'm like, hey, if I'm using a piece of paper, let me move over there. Yeah, you go. <laughs> yeah, 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 if yeah, you, yeah. You know, if, you, uh, if you're using a piece of paper right now, it's got to be that big. Okay. Oh, I have NFL. I'm at the NFL. I just got done with the NFL video director show here and, uh, and they were loving it. And so, um, you know, being able to see out in the sun and a lot of guys tell me, Hey, my videos, my pot, you know, some of the things I've done online, it doesn't give it justice to when you go outside yourself with it and see it out in the sun and not many tablets. Can you say, Hey, you need to go out in the sun, you know? And, yeah, like uh, an iPad. If I, if I tried to do this with an iPad just on, you know, with the pen and I just try to draw it, you wouldn't be able to see it because of the sun and the glare, correct? Correct, correct, especially at angles, especially at a distance, and then especially in the hot sun. What, what else is going to happen in the hot weather uh, with an gonna iPad? Overheat. Even, yeah, even my iPhone. You know, my phone will overheat and shut down. And uh, this is rated at 120 degrees. So it does really – iPads are 95 degrees, just to give you some reference. So it does really good out in the heat, and uh, but able to be seen outside in the sun like no other device. So, um, you know, I put my, my web address in the uh, in the chat, and I see it going across the bottom there. You know, the coach pad is uh, .com, and you'll see a lot of videos and pictures of coaches that have it. So um, this is kind of what it looks like. It comes with the OtterBox holder that we have keeps that sucker nice in there and then it comes the little uh, stylus fit in a little sleeve and then it even has a, a waterproof sleeve that comes with it with the outdoor kit so that's the uh do i get it right there that's the coach pad so, so you draw your scout cards beforehand and then you already have them organized like what's the operating system that it uses how how, how do we organize it yeah it's an android operating system and so it has these uh folders on here let me try to get it in the I'm trying to do this backwards here. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so you got like little folders on there that you can put everything in um, and organize all your scout cards into folders. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, one of the things you, you start doing is you can just pull up a, a new notepad and it always starts off blank. And then most of my guys will come in here and they'll, they'll add a template. So I have a number of templates that I uh, preload in here. And you just go in here and you just kind of pick one that you like for different reasons, different things. And the next thing you know, you got a, uh, a template in there. And then you can just start drawing. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so let me just do like, you know, pro, say I'm under center. There you go. I formation. Yeah. Hey, that's what I like. Yeah. I'm old school, man. Yeah. Boom. <laughs> here we come. So, uh, you know, you got pro format. So I draw something out, you know, I got my, I like four, three, four, two, mm -hmm. five. So I draw something on card one, you know, maybe I got play one up here, uh, pro, you know, I do all that stuff. And then when I go to the next page, I just hit the plus sign. I'm onto the next template. And so like if you, were doing, just, if you were doing the scout script, um, like that would be play one and then play two. Yeah. So there's play two. And then I just go back to what I just drew on the first page. And I can see little thumbnails of all my cards, you know, that I draw there. And I can jump around to page two, page three, and I can go to another page. Maybe I want to do a pass play, so maybe I want a different template. So I go back to my templates, and maybe I pick – I like this one for passes. So there's one for passes. And so maybe I want to do like a, you know, three-by-one. Does that pin have to be charged? No, no, it doesn't need charged. And uh, it works. It's kind of, it's particular to the coach pad. You can't just get like an Apple pencil or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, and so you can see, I just go from one page to the next, doing all my different templates. And I can name the script. You know, this could be Monday team, Monday seven on seven, Tuesday inside. And that's the hand drawing. And if I have multiple of these, 
the other the other thing that guys are, are realizing is if I have multiple of these, I can be up in the press box drawn on mine and then I hit sync and it'll go down to the one on the sideline. And I, I told guys, I like to tell, you know, as a defensive coordinator, I was always on the field and in Kansas, we have sideline replay. And so I was always doing this. Meanwhile, my kids are sitting right there on the bench. You know what I mean? And the next thing I know, punt team, I'm like, oh, uh, let's go, guys. You know, you like you, you didn't get to talk to them. Yeah. Where now with, with with this, what you can do on the field is you can be talking to your guys, getting them, you know, hey, let's go. Uh, you know, let's think about what we got to do here. We got to get those turnovers. You know, you can talk to them. Meanwhile, the guy up in the press box, he's on the iPad and he's drawing this out, you know, the X and O diagram. And then he syncs it. And then he's on the headset with you. He says, hey, coach, it's ready. And now on the field, now I'm down the sideline, I can say, guys, this is what they're drawing. And as soon as you look at it, you know exactly what's going on. Yeah, so you know, what is it sync done. from a coach pad to a coach pad? or does it sync Yeah, coach from pad to a coach pad. That's okay, correct. So in order to sync yeah. it, you got to have multiple coach pads. Yeah, pad. that's correct. That's correct. Yeah, and so most guys like to have one up in the press box, one on the sideline, and then they sync. And then they can see it outside in the sun, you know, at the game. You know those early games in the year mm -hmm. uh, where it's sunny out. Um or even my college guys, you know, they're even messing around with it because, um, you know, there's no there's no cameras on it. So we're not doing video or pictures. Uh, we're just doing hand drawings. OK, so so that's kind of the hand drawing uh, aspect of it. And then most of my guys, as I explained to you earlier, most of my guys are actually doing huddle practice scripts. OK, so they and draw so what they'll do is they'll do a little different area on the coach pad and they'll go into like a, a folder here. They'll go to huddle. They'll go to huddle. They'll still draw everything like they do on huddle, huddle practice scripts. Or yeah. it could be pro quick draw, playmaker pro, just play. could be a PowerPoint. And then instead of hitting print and stuff in a binder, all they do is, you know, save as a PDF, export as a PDF. And they'll export that whole playlist. Excuse me. They'll export that whole playlist and then put it on the coach pad. Most of my guys are using like a USB-C cord. And, and and connecting it to their laptop and then just dropping everything on like that. So that's okay? got memory in it. I mean, that's and got so, memory. So oh, you just drop it. You just yeah, drag it. Yeah, it's got it. like uh, 128 gigabytes. Yeah, and, and we're just storing PDFs. So, you know, you're going to store a bazillion PDFs on this thing. I got guys going into year four with me now, and they're not even close to storage limit. You know what I mean? So it it, uh, it does really good with uh, with storage. And so they're on here, and they'll have all these game weeks. And then most of my guys will go in here, and they'll they'll select a uh, a huddle practice scripts. And when they select that huddle practice script, it comes out like this, and they'll turn it landscape. And then I do this; I they'll rotate, and there's my huddle practice script. And now out of I'm sorry, out in the out on the field, all I'm doing is just sliding my finger across, changing pages. Okay. And you can see all, all the writing I have on there because I, I show that everybody you can write on it. And then I can do like a little, I call it the checkerboard, where you have all these little tiles and you just go and touch one and boom, you're right there ready to go, you know, jumping around on your script. Yeah, I'm sold. I like it. So you can see it's got, and then if you want to zoom in, you know, let me go to one, let's say you're doing inside run. You know, if you got inside run, you can zoom in on it. So you could do this, you know, and you can show your kids that, you know, you can even write in there. The back of the stylus is an eraser, so you could write little notes, uh, you know, J block or something. You know, you can just add little things to the uh, to the uh, script so that your kid knows, oh, I got to do that J block. That's right. And then you come back out of it. Everything's still there. And I go to the next page. Go to the next page, come back. Everything's still there. Still written in there. Um, does you know, it have sometimes a you draw things wrong. I'm sorry, Sid. Does it have a one year warranty? And one I mean, year warranty. Any issues it. with it cracking or people dropping them or how durable is that thing? No, you know. Well, knock on wood, um, we haven't had any screams break. And I, I think you know a big part of that is just because. You know, it's I can just task. do whatever I want to do, and that that outer box holder really holds it in there, mm -hmm. nice and uh, nice and st st you know steady. 
And then if I ever, you know, sometimes on huddle practice scripts or whatever, you might draw something wrong. So I can do is I can go in here and I can choose a white pencil. And I can erase things out of there that maybe I didn't mean to have. Are, are you so? And then I go back football? to my, my, my black. No, no, I got guys that are using this for uh, basketball, even an indoor sport, basketball, yeah. but also baseball, soccer, lacrosse. That's what I'm thinking. I'm like, man, this is more than just football. So it could be anything. Yeah, yeah. And I got guy, I got coaches that use it for their uh, professional development sessions, you know, during the school year while they're in PD. They're taking their school notes on it, you know, but then they're also drawing stuff up on the meet, you know, in the breaks and everything. And Heck yeah, man. I mean, um, it's like a snow pad that never runs out. I mean, look at me. Look, that's I got why this. it's called. That's why it's called the coach pad. That's yeah, why it's called the coach pad, pad I got right? The composition book pad. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. And, uh, I could go back to my black. And I can maybe, you know, maybe I want him to pull outside as well and block somebody so I can do that. Okay, so a lot of options and I can erase that, erase the, the permanent thing again. Okay. And, you know, we were talking about the sponsor earlier. You know, one of the sponsors is uh, the workbook. Yeah, and you got the sports show workbook. You here. So you get the, you know, the, the uh, sports, sports book is if I get the, here's the sports book. Wow. So here's an example of the, the workbook. You know, you got a, you got a workbook in there. You can put, you know, each week you can go in there, you can do things inside your workbook. But the nice thing about this is, you know, if I need to change something up, oh, this isn't strong. This is tough. You know, yeah, I can change that up on the fly. How, okay. how long does the battery last? So how's that? How's that looking? Yeah, it looks good. How long does the battery, battery last? Battery will last, you know, a couple weeks. Okay. Before you got to charge it. Yeah, as long as it makes it through a day. Like, I hate Apple Watches. Say that one more time. I said, I hate Apple Watches. Like, because Apple Watch, you got to, yeah. you got to, like, I don't want to charge a watch every single night. Like, that's ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, I'm good for a week. I'm good for a, a two days, a week, but not every night. Yeah. I'm the the, charge I have. I mean, that's why I went back to a G Shock. Is it? Uh... Yeah, you, you're breaking up a little bit. It might be the Wi-Fi. Yeah, it might be the Wi-Fi. Yeah, you're you're breaking up a little um, bit, but I, I'm sold. I like the it, uh, the battery lasts really good. Okay, the battery lasts really good. I have some guys that say they charge it twice a year, twice a season. Wow. And uh, does really good. Yeah, so I, I don't want to keep you on here too long because it looks like the airport Wi-Fi is messed up a little bit. But I think I think guys got yes. a good Sorry idea. Sorry about that, Coach. That, that's okay. You know, I, I don't I don't want to you know keep you on here if the Wi-Fi is messing up. Is there anything else, Jason, that you would like to tell the coaches out there about the Coach Pad um, or how they can get a hold of you. I mean, you're, everything's at the bottom of the screen, but what, what else would you like to say about the coach pad or how you can help high school coaches? Yeah, you know, we were talking about multiple sports, and I think uh, one thing there is that uh, I know some coaches have staff that coach multiple sports, and so that helps spread the cost a little bit. You know, some guys are like, oh, I need help spreading the You know, well, that can help that. You know, it's a one it's a one-time investment. You know, I – I deal with the football things all the time, you know, huddle, obviously, where every year we got to pay them more money. And and uh, I told myself, I don't want to do that. So it's a one time investment, nine ninety nine, a thousand dollars. And when you do that, you get the um, the device, the software, the updates. You get the OtterBox holder and a waterproof sleeve. You know, that's one of the questions that a lot of coach has. Well, how's it doing the water? You get a waterproof sleeve and then you get me one on one support. And 
uh, you know, I tell guys, I got guys all over the country that are using it. I got a guy in Washington. I always give him his example. Up in Washington, uh, Coach Keck up there at Glacier Peak, you know, he says 50, 60 percent of all his yearly practices are in the rain. And he puts that waterproof sleeve on there. He goes out there. He does practice. Um, so I got a lot of guys that are using that waterproof sleeve and and uh, and getting practice done, just saving time. But again, uh, one time investment, and uh, you can use it for you know multiple sports. But um, just trying to help with scout cards. That's the number one thing that obviously you want to do is, is scout cards. And then there's a guys uh keep it real simple uh, i got guys that are 70 year old plus you know 70 plus years old and they keep it real simple <laughs> you know and uh and so that's what there's a lot of uh a lot of features but that's what i'm here for i'm here to help and uh just want to help make your uh, scout card experience a lot better yeah well i, I appreciate you uh, coming on jason um, you, the Wi-Fi is just messing up a little bit, but I, I think it's an awesome product, man. You know, anything I can do to help y'all or partner with y'all, um, I want to do it because I, I think it's a great um, product and I think it's a need. And I mean, for a thousand dollars, I mean, if the fall team and the basketball team and the baseball team uses it, that's I mean, that's an athletic department can afford that. I mean, it's what three hundred thirty three dollars a team and you have it forever. You got a year warranty. So I, I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of your product, and I like it, and I like you. So um, anything I can do to help y'all, man, I'm all in. And just uh, you know, let me know when you're going to clinics, and we'll get those clinic guys on here, and we'll get you back on, um, I Jason. I'm breaking up a lot again. Sorry. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, brother. But, hey, I, I will get up with you later. Thank you for coming on. Uh, but I, I love your product. Can you hear me? All right, everybody tuning in. Thank you. Get you a yeah, coach I hear, pad. I hear you now. Yeah, break it yeah. up a little bit. I'm, I, again, I just, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry I, about the airport uh, Wi-Fi. Yeah, I just wanted to say thank you for coming on. I want everybody to go out and get the coach pad. Right, that's right. Thank you, Jay. See you, brother. That's right. That's right. No doubt.